The first reason we pray is to invite God in. God's a gentleman. He's not going to invade your life. You're going to have to let him in. The Bible says it like this um, in, in Revelation 3.20. It says, look, I stand at the door and I knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will share a meal together as friends. What we want God to do is be like, boom, I am the Holy One of Israel here to clean and change everything in your life. Hey, it's me. Hey, I was wondering today, could I, could I come into your house and clean up some stuff and help you? Oh, no, no, no. You're too busy. Okay, cool. I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, yes, yeah, me again. J just wanted to see today. I, I heard some whimpering, some crying, some things that aren't settled in your life. Hey, I, I could come in and, and help you. Well, well, no, I have things that aren't fixed yet. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Cause, cause I'm, I'm a carpenter. <laughs> I rebuild things, rebuild lives. As a matter of fact, I come with the cleaning clue called the Holy Spirit. And we'll come in and you don't even have to worry. You, all you have to do is let us in. And God is standing at the door of your life every day. And he's knocking and he's knocking and he's knocking. And he's saying, when you pray, you invite him in. So when you pray about your family, when you pray about your school, when you pray about what college you're supposed to go to, when you say, God, I need your direction. I need you to help me. I need you to give me peace about where I'm supposed to go. What you're doing is you're inviting God in.